on an isolated stretch of Route 66, roughly 22 miles east of Kingman and about 7 miles northwest of Hackberry, Arizona, lies on Terrace Point. Formerly home to Cozy Corner Trailer Court, the Rancho Motel, and Nickerson Farms, Ontario's Point was officially recorded in the United States Geological Survey of 1923 as a town and railroad station. Similarly to its neighboring town, Kingman, Ontario's Point was originally founded as a railroad town, allowing a lower rail gradient than any other route in 1883. In 1910, when the old National Trails Highway was completed, more people became aware of and gained easier access to the area. With more people came more discoveries, and as it turns out, the surrounding lands were rich in copper, gold, lead, and silver, leading to over 6,000 mining operations being opened in the area. As of today, 5,566 of these mining operations are closed, and only about 213 are identifiable. It is rumored that the Nickerson Farms store closed sometime in the 1980s with no explanation as to why. A handful of travelers documented this strange abandoned travel stop asking questions on the internet, but nobody had any answers, causing this small village-like rest stop to fade into obscurity. One blog post reads, somewhere along the road, I'm kicking myself for not making note of at least a mile marker on the road. We came upon this desolate and apparently abandoned rest stop called Cozy Corner Trailer Park. I'm guessing it's not too far out of Kingman. The car pulled to a dusty stop as I jumped out snapping pictures, but Richard felt very uneasy about the place and prodded me to hurry up. I, again, could have done a much more detailed photo essay here as I found it fascinating. I am left with a big question mark and I'm hoping someone with more Arizona Route 66 knowledge will come forward to fill in some details. What was this? What happened to it? Unexpectedly, in the year 2000, the property got a new owner. The man that purchased this iconic travel stop was none other than actor and artist Greg Arnold. He was ready to revamp the stop, but how? Sometime between 2003 and 2004, Arnold began creating what is now arguably his most well-known piece, Giganticus Hedicus. A 14-foot tall tiki-style head created using metal, wood, styrofoam, and cement, then painted a bright eye-catching green. At the time, Arnold was quoted as saying, I want this for artists, painters, poets, whatever their outlet is. Arnold has been part of many Route 66 meetings and live streams. He has also been kind enough to accept previous interviews with travelers and creators over the years, while continuing to create his sculptures as seen here. Fast forward to 2020, and the place was reportedly shut down with no scheduled reopening date. Locals and passers-by were understandably upset by this, but there was nothing anyone could do. So life went on, again, without the travel stop at Ontario's Point. During that time, Arnold continued to clean up the property and remodeled the main A-frame building. Ontario's Point eventually held a soft reopening on Easter weekend of 2021. Several months later, on November 7th, 2021, a video was uploaded to YouTube titled, Greg Arnold Unveils His Latest Masterpiece by Rising Empire Entertainment, a Kingman-based community news channel. Arnold announced the statue weeks in advance, but kept its appearance and name under wraps until October 31st, 2021. The reason why we're out here today is because Greg's been working on a project now for what? Two years. Two years now, and he yeah. unveiled it today, and yeah. it is the guardian of Route 66. So yeah. uh, tell us about your, your um, inspiration for this. My inspiration for this is that there is Mother Earth, 
there is the Mother Road, which is the name of Route 66. So Route 66 now is fertile again for a rebirth. So what better can symbolize that than a powerful woman? And I made her all from scrap from my studio. And so it's all something out of nothing. And that's what's happening all up and down uh, from Chicago to the Santa Monica Pier. The locals and travelers were ecstatic. A total of 58 entries were part of a car show associated with the event, providing over $900 to a local nonprofit organization named the Feral Cat Warriors. The gala was part of the grand reopening of the locally loved Ontario's Point Visitor Center and Gift Shop. Greg Arnold's contribution to the preservation and rebirth of Route 66, the Mother Road, is like none other. Preserving this forgotten stretch of Route 66 so that everyone may get the chance to experience it someday. From remodeling the old A-framed building to creating meaningful, eye-catching works of art, this man has done more for Ontario's Point than any of us could have imagined. Throughout the entirety of this project, Greg Arnold has made it a point to actively be part of the local community. From being a guest on the Adventurers Club livestream on Jim Hinckley's America, to being cast in small creator short films, this man does it all, while somehow still finding time to continue creating and inspiring. The only reason we are able to experience this awesome travel stop and to take in its history is because of all the time, effort, and care that Greg Arnold and everyone who has helped him put into Ontario's Point. Here's to you, Greg. Thank you for all you've done to save this stretch of the Mother Road. If you've been here or if you have any other information, please feel free to leave a comment. I love to read them. I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please remember to leave a like, subscribe for more, and maybe even tell a friend. Thank you all for hanging out, and I'll see you guys next week.